All right, so here we are with our next attempt to uh, break some of these rocks. As you can see behind me, we got this uh, obnoxious green machine. We rented it from uh, Sunbelt. And they've got a 1,500 foot-pound hammer. These things are rated by Impact Energy. So the one on here is uh, made by, uh, I guess, a company formerly called Kent, now called Furukawa, Furu I don't know, whatever. Anyways, it's the F9 series breaker. So we'll see how it goes. Right now we've got this uh, rock that we're gonna try first. This is a softer rock. Like I mentioned last time, we've got a mix of uh, decomposed granite and kind of regular granite. So this rock down here, you can see we've already been digging at it and um, it's pretty soft. You know, as you dig with a bucket, it starts to kind of break apart. It's a hard way to kind of completely get rid of it. So we still need something else. So we thought we would try the breaker on this softer decomposed rock first. And then after that, we'll go back over and try it on the, uh, the harder rock that uh, broke the rock grinder. So anyway, we'll uh, see how it goes. Breaks it up pretty easy, but that's a pretty soft rock. So what we'll do next is, uh, there's a lot of little chunks in there. So since we have the benefit of two excavators right now, Sharon can go on the other side, start digging those chunks out. And uh, I'll stay on this side and just uh, keep kind of shattering it apart. And we'll be done with this one in no time.
rock that you saw in the last video. The last one that we were just uh, chipping at went pretty easy. Uh, we broke that up and dug it out in probably only 10 minutes. So this next one, as we uh, was, I was describing last time, there's a lot of it that's not decomposed yet. It's a lot harder rock. So we'll see how well it can break through that. That's kind of what the rental's all about, is kind of an experiment to see how well this goes. So up next is, uh, maybe I'm gonna call it stubborn rock. So let's see what happens.
All right, so you can see behind me the the stubborn rocks getting pretty broken up. This was about an hour's worth of work uh, yesterday, and then we uh, called it a day, but uh, made a little bit of progress, but we've probably got, I don't know, at least maybe another hour or so to get that one, finished breaking that one up. And then over here, we still got the rim of rocks we want to get rid of. So, so after we finish with that one, we'll jump over here and um, get started on these. So I think from here, we'll uh, start up uh, some music and we'll, you can watch us do it on a montage. So we've been uh, chipping away the last couple days and you can see where I'm standing stubborn rock is finally gone and the uh, lowest part we left of it we've uh, buried back with dirt. So it took a while that stubborn rock was uh, took longer than I thought we probably had to work at it for I don't know maybe four or five hours to actually be able to completely chip it away. It started off easy on the top where it was flat but as it gets weird angles it just takes longer to do. Anyway that one's finally out of the way. Got some uh, piles of rock behind me. 
Coming back over here where the rim of rocks was, uh, kind of rim of rocks used to be going like this. Those are now completely gone. We've also buried that with dirt, um, kind of starting to work on our, uh, our uh, terrace elevations. Uh, we'll kind of come back to that in a different episode. So we've um, started working on some terracing now that the rocks are out of the way. So, um, so that's finally good. We can, we can keep going with the house pad. Um, kind of back over here, it was interesting. You may or may not have noticed in the time lapse, but we had these two rocks that were right next to each other. And one of them was about where I'm standing right here. And, you know, when I started with the breaker, I just put it in the middle and it was soft enough. I was able to break all the way through it just in one pass. It just split apart and that rock was done. But this other one that's right next to it is kind of interesting because it's really hard on top uh, to the point where I, I was trying with the breaker to get started, but I just, I really almost couldn't get a hold with the breaker to get it to, to shatter at all because it's kind of rounded off and really hard. So it's been interesting to see. We got these two rocks that are, you know, right next to each other, but they're very different trying to break them apart. So we just, we never really know, I guess, until, until we get started on it. So anyway, this one kind of has been roughed up on the top. We'll see, we'll try to come back and deal with it later. If we, if we have to remove it, we will. Otherwise it may get to stay because it's also looking like it's gonna be another stubborn rock. So anyway, that's it for now. We'll uh, be back later, probably doing some more grading work down towards the meadow and um, continuing with the house pad.